Now that you've completed the welcome module and have gone through all of these and taken your quiz on communicating with your instructor, we can now set up our account. So in the account setup checklist, basically we have to set up an account using Canvas, student email, and a passport. Under the modules, they have a definition of what CATIA is. We want to use Chrome as our default browser to access your Canvas, your email, and your CATIA software. The login on how to set up your Chrome, sorry, how to set up your Canvas and student email is found here. Setting up your uh, Passport to access CATIA is here. What computer specs you'll need, and then a computer spec test. So, before you can do the test to see if your computer is compatible, and even if it's not compatible, I would try and load the software before I buy a new computer or buy anything else because it's a very likely chance you will download it even though it doesn't match the specs. Um, and then how to install them will be in the next module, how to install the software on your personal computer. This module is just to get everything set up. So when you go here, there's going to be a video on how to set up the browser as your default for Chrome if you have not done that. And then when you come into the login access, you have hyperlinks to set up your Canvas account and your student email, which really you should have your Canvas already done. Hopefully your student email is already done, but in case you haven't done that, these are the hyperlinks to help you set that up. An account must be set up using a student email. It'll look similar to this. This is my personal, uh, sorry, my instructor email account. I currently have 9,200 messages waiting for me. I'm trying to get through them, but uh, that is what your account will look like. It'll look just like the Gmail account, except that this is going to be, uh, sorry, uh, I don't have it. It's on this link here. What you're going to have access to, you're going to get emails from this. Okay, if we don't get it, you need to make sure that you're allowing it to be um, sent and also look in your trash if the emails don't look like they're coming through. But what you're going to do is send me, set up your student email, send me an email with this as your subject. Oh, shoot. Uh, so copy paste this and then copy paste this message. Of course, insert your name. That means you edit your name and to verify that you have done this to set up this because I cannot get you access to the software until after you've established this email and sent me an email to confirm it. Once I get that confirmed, we can set up your email and this is kind of redundant information, but these are the first steps we have to do. I have to go through this to get your account set up. To set up your account, there is a video on how to do that, so you can watch that video. And then you'll see Again, the computer specs you'll need, and just check if it's compatible. Uh, actually, no, that won't be next. Sorry, I don't know why that did that. Um, oh, no, that's right. Yeah, you're going to set up your account. After you set up your account, you can go check and verify if your computer specs meet the requirements for the DSO system. They have a, uh, in here, they have a, Compatibility test, you can click on and run that compatibility test. Okay, so that's what's covered in this module. Um, there's a lot of stuff in here, it looks like, but really it's just to set up your three main accounts you need, and then you can move on to the installing software.